Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass here, and welcome to Box. Box is an RPG Maker game made by the sim creator of Colorful, and it's about the story of a girl who is waiting for someone to come home. Hey, Chi. Chi? I'm heading out right now. I'll be back home as soon as I can. Now be a good girl, okay? Huh? Fumi. I hope he gets back home soon. I need you in my life. What? We'll be together forever. Item? How to play. Simple. It's some DVDs. Fumi bought these for me. It's so I won't be bored when I'm home alone. That's kind of a cute opening so far. Why is there a box here? Oh god, it's gonna be like that movie. Why does that keep appearing in the top left? It looks chilly outside. This cabinet, open it. It's locked. It won't open unless I put in the combination. What's the combination? I have no reason to go there. There's some pills and other little things here. Hello, Mr. Plant. It looks like he still has plenty of water. This is Fumi's sofa. I always like to sit on his lap. I don't feel like watching TV right now. Maybe the combination's in the box? What do I do? I just wait? Hmm? There's something underneath the dresser. Between layer number two. What is layer number one? Fumi's always so nice to me. All he wants is for me to be happy. Like today he bought me a gigantic cake. But he's been kind of down lately. And does things like stare off into space. Just a bit ago he broke a plate. When did I write this? Why can't I remember? Something's happening. Hello? Fumi, are you home now? Let's save the game again. Okay, so that's... There's no one here. No, seriously, what's with the text up there? We bathe separately. Even though I like to love for us to bathe together. It's a sink. It's just a bit high for me to reach. I'm good right now. For a second, I thought you were going to say, it's a toilet. Like, you have to tell me that. I'll have to watch over the house. You get my life purpose. Let's open the shoe cupboard. It won't budge. Looks like it's stuck. It's not strong enough. I'm getting pooped. Bun Bun! It's a stuffed toy bunny I got from Fumi. This cabinet will open it. Also locked. Well, everything's locked in this house. There's some studying tools inside. I wonder how college is like. It smells like Fumi. So comforting. It's a lampstand I use when it's nighttime. Fumi will read books to me. Hmm. Hey, I'm missing a heart. Well, the music stops me here. Hey! What was that sound? How did I even lose a heart? Was it because I tried to open up the thing and I got pooped? 
as she said. It came from here, but I'm too scared to enter by myself. Just go in. It's all good. Maybe open that box while we're at. Hmm. Well, maybe if I get the bun bun, I can go in there, because our character will be brave. It's a stuffed toy bunny Fumigami. Bring it with you. Toy bunny. Now you'll keep me safe, okay? I can hear your gentle breathing. Is that... That's new. The only morph I need is ours. Better make it our safe, though. Then I got my bunny friend. I'm not scared going inside. Huh. Broke on its own. So this was the cause of that sound. But what could have broken it? This place is broken. Pick it up. Howie! I cut my hand. There goes another heart. This is Fumi's chair. It's a calendar. Glance at. Yesterday he stayed in a circle near. Hmm, January 30th. Did something happen yesterday? I don't remember anything special happening. There's a half-eaten cake inside. This cake. I get this feeling that we had some cake yesterday. Eat it. There are lots of pots and pans stored inside. Fumi usually burns food in these, so I have to watch over him. There are dishes inside. It's just not for two people. There's seasonings here. I'll see some cooking oil. Pick it up. Maybe I can use this to open things. Oh yeah, because the one thing is locked up. There are kitchen utensils inside. I feel like there's something missing here. Should I save with only one heart? Well, I'll keep it back up safe. This is Fumi's chair. Let's look at my chair. This is a dining room table. This is my chair. This is the wall. This is a door. This is hardwood floors. This is the color white. This is the color red. And this is me looking at myself for the game. I love making you happy. What? Well, this thing was jammed over here. Let's use the oil. It opened. I can see Fumi's shoes still inside here. Sorry if I'm not very good at it. What's the point of that? And I can't open that. What about this? Maybe I could cook something? <laughs> Maybe we could cook up some grub. A lot of candies here. All my favorites. There's seasonings here. There are kitchen utensils inside. Something's missing there. Wait a minute. Go back here for a second. Hmm. Maybe I do need the plate after all? Well, no. There's up here. Look. There's a shiny. I gotta get to the shiny, right? I see something above the fridge, but it's too high for me to reach. So we gotta use a chair. And I can reach the top of the fridge of this. Push the chair over. I still can't reach it. We need something like... We need two chairs! Okay. <laughs> so we don't need two chairs. We need something to poke it with. Then we need to get the shoe. And we throw the shoe at it. It kind of defeats the point of getting the chair, though. Then we could have just knocked off the shoe in the first place. Then again, we seem like we we're a kid. I mean, it's kid logic. I pick up the shoehorn. We make use to reach high places. 
The outside world is a scary place. Please don't leave me alone. What? What's that? How did Tron by itself? Yeah, that's right. You stay. You you, you stay turn off. Okay. I almost have a user shoehorn. Small key. I wonder where this key goes. Maybe the bedroom? Because the other lock requires a combination. Speaking of which, where is letter one? Everything is fine the way it is. Use a small key. It opened, my bag and shoes. So now they're both inside here. I don't want to let go. There's something else here too. There's letter number one. My mom hates me, my dad hates me. But Fumi says he loves me, so I love Fumi back. It's been three months since I've been with him. To celebrate, celebrate we're going to eat a cake together. I've been true happiness and yet I never intended this to happen. So we had a celebration yesterday. That's when Fumi went out and bought us a cake. However, one of the plates broke. After that, we went to watch some TV together. And then we... What did we do after that? Oh no. That sound. Did it come from the bathroom? Pills. I'm a little spooked out, actually. There's a crack in the mirror. The mirror, it's cracked. The cold, this cold stillness can't be real. What happened here yesterday? In this silence? I'm good right now. What? Okay, never mind. It's all good. Make all the saves in the world, we're fine. Maybe we just need to like go to the thing, we know the combination now. Like we would never in our head. Combination lock, unlock it. No good, it's still unlocked. Okay, so there is a combination around, we just need to figure it out. January 30th? I was with Fumi, we were celebrating our three months of being together. This cake, I think Fumi was saving up for the rest of it. Hmm. Maybe Fumi is dead. So maybe it's January 30th? Or it's... The date they first met. Or been with each other. So if it's January 30th now. Well, we can kind of like put that together in our head. Let's try January 30th while we're here. No good. Okay. And then let's try putting, putting that back three months. 10.30. It opened. What is this doing here? And there's something on it. Letter, letter number triple. Blood. Even though we're watching TV together, I couldn't focus. I don't know why, but I feel scared. I don't think I'm supposed to be here. I need to go home as soon as I can. All I'm doing is bothering Fumi. That's why I'm going to tell him I'm going home. Chi. The box. That's... Oh god, it really is that movie. Check inside the box. Wait for Fumi. Leave it alone. Well, we made a save. Double check. Let's try wait for Fumi first. I think this is a bad option, by the way. What is happening? Let 
Okay. I'm home. Welcome home. Sorry for leaving you by yourself. It's okay. From now on, we'll be together forever. Yeah. I won't be lonely anymore. Same here. Gee. Fumi. I love you. Bad end. Box. The very, very silent credits. Unless that is the good end, and then the box ending is the bad end. Ignorance is bliss kind of a thing. Well, let's see what the other ending is. Check inside the box. I don't want to open it. Open the box. Now what? Similar to the ever ending, we're hearing the noises. Seems to be the same. I'm home. What's happening? Sorry for leaving you by yourself. From now on, we'll be together forever. She's not saying anything this time. I won't be lonely anymore. Wait, what? Gee. What? What? What was the difference that made happen in that ending? Were we dead? Hmm. Maybe. That's why we saw the little supernatural things. So maybe the box was our body, per se, like it was the truth. So that's it for Box. So to sum up the story, here's what I'm going with in my head. And it's that... So you're a young girl, and I'm assuming there may be some, like, angst, or maybe their parents are actually bad, I don't know. It's irrelevant to the plot. The main thing is that they've been coerced to go with what is a... basically a predator. He's some guy, some college student, and they must have met somewhere, talked on the net, who knows. Doesn't matter. But she's living with him, she doesn't quite realize yet, at least in the first initial months, that she's kind of trapped. That she thinks, I'm living with him now, and doesn't realize the sinister implications. And then at some point, maybe she feels a little bit like going back, or she wants more freedom, or they get in a fight, whatever. 
things kind of fall apart. And they have a fight in the kitchen. Yeah, they or they have a fight at least in the living room anyway. And then he goes in and gets the knife. And they have a struggle and they break the mirror. And then they, you know, she gets stabbed and killed. And then her body is put into the box while he goes to leave the next day. So during the entire game, I guess you're playing a ghost. Or at least someone like kind of spiritually viewing their final moments. It, it's a kind of a trope if you've seen, ever seen those type of movies where they, they've been killed and they don't realize it. And they have like foggy memories and they kind of recount some of the events. That's why some of the events kind of recreate themselves. And when you go to the box, if you open it, that's you kind of acknowledging your death. That's why you're, you spiritually don't respond back to him. And you see the blood kind of being like, this is the truth. This is what it's actually going down. I think I got it right in my head. Some of it's a little bit vague, but I think that's the gist of it. So, that's the story. This is the second game this creator has made. The other one they did was Colorful. This came out in 2015. I think Colorful came out in 2014. So, both their works are a little bit... kind of twisted, I would say. Not terribly so, but... They both have kind of a very somber undertone. I guess you could say the, the, the concept of being the cute game with the, like, the little bit of the dark story under it is nothing really new, but since this came out in early 2015, I think, I'm gonna give it a little bit credit on that. It was, it was a little bit less flooded um, about three years ago now. So I'm not gonna make that comparison like, oh, this has been done many times. I will say that both these games don't really have much gameplay involved, and they don't really have anything amazing going on, but Box, at least, I think, did have a pretty good atmosphere. Even though I kind of saw what was coming, except for the ending itself, uh, there was this little bit sense of oppressiveness. Where I'm like, like obviously I know something's bad happening, there's text flowing up in the top left corner, that's kind of weird, that's actually pretty distinct. So it has a good, actually pretty good at, at setting itself up. I give it that credit. Which kept me interested and made me want to see the plot. Gameplay-wise, they're both games are basically, the gameplay is non-existent, so I won't even bother grading that. I will add one little comment towards the end there, though, is that this game did not make me feel good afterwards. And it's not just because it's it's a dark plot in the end. Because there's, there's plenty of dark plots, like some other games I've played where it's like twisted and whatnot. I felt someone good afterwards. And not in a sense like it's a happy story, but like there's a lot of energy to the storyline. There's a kind of a climax and a conclusion. This, this one and Colorful both had very somber kind of finales. And there was like even not even any music in this one in the credits. And it just kind of cuts very quietly to it. And as it kind of leaves me feeling a little bit empty inside. I don't see any big kind of event like, oh, he murdered her or anything like that. Or any big spooks or scares or jump scares or anything really horror-like. It's just, this was a bad situation. And it's already been done. And that has left me feeling a little bit odd after completing this game. Anyway, that's all I'll say about the game. So thank you all for watching me play Box, I'll see you guys later and take it easy.